Well, we're here with Tomas Burdich. Tomas, thanks for spending time with us. Tomas, how much has life changed for you? 2010 was such a breakthrough year. You got to the finals of Wimbledon, the semis of the French Open. You became an international star. How has life changed? Well, I mean, of course, in, in the way of like, you know, the tennis life and tennis side, it's, it's, it was a kind of big change. And on the one thing, like, you know, that everybody wants to, you know, do better with you if they play the match against you, you know, and, this, and then, you know, you have to be like more, you know, you are like the one that almost always you go to the match as a favorite. It's so the difference between to, being the hunter and now you're, you're the hunted. Yeah. Do you enjoy that or is it putting more pressure on you or uh, is it, you have to raise your game? Well, of course, you have to raise your game because it's even then every match is much, much more tougher. And I like the way that it's uh, another step and another different, uh, you know, part of my career, tennis career, that it's not really like, uh, you know, kind of every year the same. So I reach this, you know, different level and then I have to, you know, try to adjust to something different. So I like it. Uh, that's what I like it about it. But yeah, the other thing is that it's uh, much more tougher, of course. Is that how you feel like your career has gone in, in steps, in gradual steps? You see some people that just burst on the scene. You were a, a young player that people really looked to. I remember watching you play against Andre Agassi in the Australian Open one year in the second yeah. round. And he beat you handily, but came off the court and said, this guy is going to be a top 10 player. He turned out to be right. He knows yeah. a lot about his tennis, Andre Agassi. But, it was a gradual process. You got to that next level, you top 20, and last year, finals of the slam. Now do you feel comfortable on this level, and what do you need to go to that next level? You have the four guys that have yeah. really dominated tennis. What do you need to get to that level? Yeah, that's true. I, well, um, I like that I, you know, go all these steps, you know, that I didn't miss any one of those, you know, even from the beginning that I start really on the, really the smallest tournament, not like the way that, you know, just make a really one good results on the big tournament and just, you know, jumped on the ranking. But, you know, I just go really step by step and, you know, what to do, what to do for these uh, four guys, you know. I think it's just the way of really like uh, every day to you know work hard, try try to be better than than before, and uh, you know it's it's just the small touch you know in the in the game. That, so the margins, uh, you think the margins are small, even though the top four have really dominated. So you have Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, and Murray, yeah. and then you're in that next group. You've really carved out you and Sotoling and Roddick that next four through nine ten range. But you, you really think it might look like more than it really is? You think you're right there? Yeah, I think it's just uh, it just looked like uh, for the people from from around, it just looked that they are really far ahead. But uh, for like to chase them and to get closer to them, I think it's just really about the small small difference in the game. It's not really about that. I mean, you would change something really like dramatically in your game that you would start to play. I don't know something differently or or it's not about, I mean, forehand, backhand, you know, everybody can, you know, do it like perfectly almost. It's just really about that, you know, to winning a couple of matches that you get, you know, that confidence, you know, that just brings you, you know, for, let's say, to win some, some good tournament or something like that. And it's, it's, I would say that it's really just a small, small piece. Because you've had success, you beat, You've beaten Federer a few times. You beat him at Wimbledon last year. You've beaten Nadal. He said that it's a very tough matchup to play. You beat Djokovic in the semifinals of, of Wimbledon. Of all the guys in the world, who's the toughest matchup for you? If your life depended on one match, who would you not want to see on the other side of the court? Any player, any surface. Wow, that's really tough to say. I mean, actually, I. As you said, I beat all those guys like who's playing right now from starting from Roger until I don't know the top top ten one. But you've beaten Nadal yeah, on clay. No, no, no. That's the only one I did not. You I did it on hard. You beat him on so, hard. You beat yeah. Federer on grass. On grass. You beat Djokovic on grass. On grass. So, so who'd be your toughest guy? Well, I think it's gonna be right now. It's gonna be Rafa on clay. And best of five sets. Understandable. He's won. Yeah. He's won. Uh, <laughs> he's won six French Open, seven Monte Carlos, and, and six Barcelonas.